Well, I personally could not think of anything uh, worse to be said by a presidential candidate. Because you have to ask yourself what kind of message this would send to both the Israelis and to the Palestinians. To the Israelis, or to Prime Minister Netanyahu for that matter, the message is go ahead, do whatever you want to do, expand the settlement, continue the blockade, continue to have the occupation, continue to build a new settlement, and we, the United States, will not bother you. The message to the Palestinian will be, don't even think it. Peace is not around the corner. Israel is there to stay. The settlement will continue to, be ex to, continue to expand. And the likelihood of you achieving the goal of a two-state solution is a pretty much dead upon arrival. It's not going to happen. This is precisely the wrong message you want to send to both Israelis and the Palestinians. Specifically, if you know, and you must know, that unless there is a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, there will be no solution to the Israeli-Arab conflict altogether, and it will become the only question of time when the Palestinians themselves will rise against the occupation as many uh, other Arab youth rising their own government seeking freedom. And the, the Palestinians are not going to simply sit and wait for President Ramani to come and try to, to uh, begin a, a process that is not, probably is not going to happen under his leadership. So the message is wrong, and I hope that uh, it will never come to fruition. Well, the next president, I think, uh, has to be very clear. If Obama is to be re-elected, I think he should plan to go to Israel as soon as possible. He should go to Israel with a framework for peace based on prior agreements between Israel and the Palestinians from 2008 and from the year 2000. The Israelis and the Palestinians literally agreed on 80-90% of the conflicted issue between themselves. Uh, he has a probably to appoint somebody with the stature, say, of former President Clinton to mediate and stay with it. And finally, the United States should not hesitate, should it become necessary, to put direct pressure on Israel and the Palestinians, that it is in their best interest to make the necessary concession to achieve peace. Needless to say, this will be in the interest not only of the Israelis and the Palestinians, this will be in the best interest of the United States, this will be in the best interest of the Arab state in the Middle East, and this also will weaken, uh, directly and indirectly, Iran's effort to establish regional hegemony, because it's been and will continue to use the Israeli-Palestinian conflict as a pretext for its uh, involvement and with supporting extremists uh, throughout the region. So a peace between Israel and the Palestinians is, is, is the sikwanan, in my view, to regional stability, and the next president should make that top priority.